let's talk takedowns. So why do so many jujitsu schools not either focus on takedowns or don't teach them at all? Um, let's, let's examine this conundrum. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what goes on here, right? In our um, beginner curriculum, our self-defense curriculum, our street fighting curriculum, um, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, right? It's a complete curriculum. It has striking, it has throws, it has joint locks, it has choke holds, it has groundwork, um, it has philosophy, it has strategy, right? It's a complete thing. And in that curriculum, we have a number of takedowns which we plug and play into um, a variety of different self-defense situations. And we see that, that a lot of those takedowns are wash, rinse, repeat. They can be utilitarian and used in a wide variety of things. Um, beyond that, in our advanced jujitsu curriculum, right in our advanced BJJ classes, I don't spend a lot of time on takedowns because I want to get to the meat and potatoes and really dive in on the, the sportive aspect of ground fighting. That is why we offer both wrestling and takedown classes on Fridays. I'm a very, very big proponent of having a solid takedown game. Be well-rounded in your takedowns, whether you are training for self-defense or whether you are training for sport. There's, there's so many uh, valuable takeaways from having takedowns. So I get why a lot of schools don't teach takedowns, particularly if they're a competition-based school because the rule sets of competition will allow you to pull guard. And some people develop such a deadly and dangerous guard that it makes sense for them just to not waste any time on takedowns and just pull guard and, and get the submission. And, and that's totally fine. If that's, if that's um, their goals, their ambitions is to, to be a, uh, a competent, high level competitor, that makes sense, okay? But if you are training for self-defense, um, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're training for your job, particularly the law enforcement officers, um, it doesn't make any sense not to be training takedowns. The last thing you want to do in, in a street fight is pull guard. I don't want to be on the bottom of a street fight. Um, MMA fighters, right? They need to be training takedowns. You're going to pull guard in an MMA fight? Good luck, bud. Um, so that's why we have such a takedown heavy curriculum. Um, a lot of other schools, they don't teach takedowns because they're limited by their size, right? Takedowns uh, obviously can be very dynamic. So if you're in a small room, I might double leg you on top of a, another group and somebody might get injured. I might see a nagi you on top of another group, somebody might get injured. So I, I could certainly empathize and understand why uh, a very space limited school might be, um, might not be training takedowns all the time. Um, the one I don't, the one I don't like, um, and the one I can't get behind is uh, the the schools that upsell you to to a takedown class. In other words, they say, uh, "Well, this is our jujitsu class, and jujitsu is groundwork." Um, but we do have this wrestle, uh, wrestling class. We do have this judo program that that you know, for X dollars more on your contract, you can train both jujitsu and judo, or jujitsu and wrestling, or whatever it is. Right? There's this upsell where they they divide it. Um, no, jujitsu has takedowns. Uh, ju you know, just be honest with your people and say, um, you know, going back to to an earlier podcast, our our um, head jujitsu instructor stinks at takedowns. They don't know a lot of takedowns, so we offer this judo program or this wrestling program. Um, or just be honest and say, hey, um, you know, we're in the business of making money, so we divide out our programs. Whatever, whatever it is. Um, but that's my takeaway, and that's my point of view on why a lot of jujitsu schools don't teach takedowns weekly, consistently, daily. Um, you guys are very fortunate. You, you have, a, you have a, a school where many of the instructors come from a wrestling background. Um, we live in a, a heavy, heavy wrestling area. So um, count yourself very fortunate, very blessed that you get to spend time with such um, knowledgeable and handsome instructors. I'll see everybody on the mat.